Now we are uh, look at uh, on the topics of the working group uh, number three, which is the um, which is the very important. I think it's about the making RDF available for the financing housing and marginalized communities, which will be present uh, Mr. Adam Kuhlman. And this working group was two days working on the same topic. So that will, he will be, um, uh, uh, well, he will have uh, more time to present to us what they did these days. Okay, thanks very much. Um, First of all, I would also like to say thanks for all the participants. Without trying to compete uh, other workshops, I can stand uh, uh, mentioning that we, we stayed yesterday till half past six. Um, I think it's also important that, that we had a, a very frank conservation, conversation. Uh, all of us uh, agreed that, uh, that we are not making records of what we are discussing. We are trying to, to come to, to a better understanding of the situation. Uh, we have heard uh, presentations from, from each country, uh, both on, on uh, national programs as well as on, uh, on individual projects. And uh, within some of these, we have seen uh, some innovative ideas as well. For me, the, the savings and microcredit uh, scheme was very interesting uh, from, the, from Slovakia. Um, then we, we um, entered into a discussion uh, of different topics. Among them, the, the definition of, of, the, of the marginalized communities, where uh, all the countries apply different methods. Uh, then we discussed the integrated approach. Here, uh, there was a, a wide consensus that it is, it is a must, and uh, we have seen good examples for that. For the other issue that is also in the, in the regulation for the implementation of the ERDF regulation, uh, the issue of desegregation, here we had uh, more debates and uh, it is, I think, a topic that, uh, that should be discussed more in, in details uh, later on as well. Um, and so we, we came to some conclusions. The very first conclusion is that, uh, that any project that, that can be done uh, long, uh, takes, uh, takes many, many years, so it's a long-term approach. And it's also clear that it has to be started with the soft uh, elements and not, uh, not the ERDF type elements. So therefore, if we want to use ERDF in the current period, then we should, uh, we should start uh, continuing ex uh, uh, already existing projects because uh, otherwise we should, uh, we should spend on the soft elements and then we run, run out of the, of the period when we should start using the ERDF as well. So therefore, it's quite uh, obvious for us that uh, a pilot basis uh, should be applied. But it's also important to, to start preparation uh, in a larger uh, extent, preparation of, uh, of further projects, further interventions, uh, which should uh, include legal issues, legalization of housing, also urban planning issues, uh, and uh, the preparation of, uh, of concrete projects. Uh, finally, I would say that, uh, that this was, the, this was a, a start of an attempt uh, that OSI is trying to do, to sit together people from ERDF and ESF managing authorities, climate ministries and NGOs in the topic of using uh, EU funds for, for Roma inclusion. Uh, there are other uh, initiatives in this uh, field as well, for example the EU Roma, but that uh, only covers the ESF managing authorities at the moment. So I think uh, it's, it's important for us to, to continue with this. Uh, we invite uh, uh, you to, to take part in this cooperation. Uh, so this was more or less what I wanted to say, and, uh, and I asked also Alakos uh, whether he would like to add anything. Uh, 